Charles, Damon Bruce. Monday hoops coming up. It's the Detroit Pistons going up against Marcus Thornton and the Sacramento Kings. And now let's send it out to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll see you at halftime, everybody. Okay. You can't do it now, Chris. Okay, Dad. Yes! Yes! Happy. Oh, yay. Both Sacramento. Oh. Oh, what did he do that? My ball. We made it. Yes. Didn't count it on the floor. Well, it gave me one point. Oh, they did? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, what's your point? Yeah. Nothing but net. So. Hayes, he's checked in for Jason Thompson. And Detroit with a change here, too. 
Corey McGinney. He's checked in for Craig Monroe. Well, Prince is a small forward, but he's got a 6'9 frame and about a 7'2 wingspan. So an excellent defender. He can guard multiple positions. And at the offensive end of the court, you can run your offense through him, too, because he's a good target and he can pass the ball as well. And his defensive reputation, while it has waned somewhat over the years, is still he's still very good at that end of the floor with his length and mobility and smart. You can block a few shots, too, if you're not careful. Robinson's checked in for the Kings. And his Witcher also for Detroit. Drummond's checked in. Ooh, that's so happy. Season. Surprised a lot of people when he re-upped with the Pistons. I think a lot of, a lot of fans expected him to go to a better team, but he stuck with his Piston team, a club that is rebuilding, wanted to see it through, and unfortunately for him, did not have a great season. Jim for Daddy's checked in for Aaron Brooks. Your Red Coast checked in for Detroit. Cast to McGinney. left to play in the first quarter and he finishes at the rack and Tayshaun Prince one of those rare players to what? For the he caught it out of bounds career, the Detroit Pistons that's very rare yeah very rare 11 season in Detroit for Prince and he's been a model of consistency and professionalism oh, yeah. and winning basketball his entire career <coughs> I hope to see him be able to help lead the Detroit Pistons back to respectability here as his career winds down the Kings trail by four. Evans outside. Outside Robinson. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Here's Thomas. Yes. I don't know how you play defense in this Thomas game. Got his first so this happy. Offensively just away you have to put your arms up and then whenever they throw, you have to press square to try to steal it. Oh, really? Feed to Drummond. Maggetti outside. Yurepko. Oh, wow. To go. Good. And all ten of their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. Some yeah. Ooh, just I need that happen. Walk up and say it's not going to happen. He dishes it to Bynum. Getty outside. He feeds it tonight. He kicks to Yurepko. Line him up top. Passes it to Drummond. Shot clock at six. Good. You know, it went down, guys, but still unusual to go to the leader there with so much space around. Shut up. Seven seconds of the shot game clocks. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Kings have shot just one free throw early to win the game. Well, guys, you go back to the season, the Pistons have just 74% of the free throws. I know they'd like to see that number go up. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself oh, yeah. at a disadvantage when you Isn't shoot that YouTube great? Yes. That's a completely new group on the floor oh. for the Kings. Then for the Pistons, Brave Monroe. He's checked in for drum. He's stuck and subbed in for Will Biden. And Gordon kicks to Garcia. And the foul called on Corey McGinnis. That is his first foul of the game. Into Jason Thompson. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh. It sure has been. I mean, both teams have been an entertaining game as well, guys. Brooks. Mm. Yeah. 